In this video, we will learn how to create this flex photo effect using Photoshop Actions in Photoshop CS6 Extended. You can use it also in Photoshop CC or later versions. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are gonna be creating amazing flex effect. Before we start, let me just show you what we can create with this. You just need to create a selection around the subject or around your image and then applying effect, the result will be this. Amazing and high quality. So all the results depend on you, uh, how you like to apply your effect. You can see that there is a light glow on your uh, effect look at this and after that we can do another effect look at this after selecting this it will be look like this one so it looks great is not it uh, so let's start our work without wasting any kind of your time so let's just first close this to get more extra work so first of all we will delete the first group layer and just deselect that okay so what you need to do is first of all you need to download these actions so when you will download these actions it will be named as flex when you will extract that there will be folder named flex so now this uh, action can be applied for or on any photoshop version for each version there is a different file so there is cc plus file cs4 cs5 cs6 and there are a flex brushes so you can use these brushes on any kind of versions of photoshop so before we start let's just go to photoshop and load these brushes so go to edit uh go to preset preset manager from there you will see that there is brushes selected and then go to load so open the load open the flex there will be flex brushes so you can see that I have already loaded them so we'll do it again for your assistance and you will see that they are all brushes so hit done now go to windows go to actions and go to this icon go to load actions you will see that uh, there is different type of folder so we will use we are using Photoshop CS6 so we will open CS6 folder so click and select this flex action and click on load so what we will do next is uh, let's just close this now so create a selection around your image or character on which you want to apply this effect so I have already created selection around this so you can use select quick selection tool to create selection around this or you can directly use brush so uh, use hard brush keep in mind that and after selection selecting your brush go to your actions folder or actions and click on flex click and extract this you can see that different kind of uh, effects here so we will see uh, one so we can see that what's going on in these actions so before start name your uh, selection layer as brush in lowercase as we always do so keep in mind that brush in smaller case or lowercase so let's just start and wait for the process to complete its work so the process is complete what we need to do is collapse this panel or action panel just press ctrl alt and close these all folders so now just close open this and what we need to do next you can do anything here like you can change overall color you can select custom colors like black blue green any type of color you like so we'll go for this and if you want to change these lights color you can just uh, select this folder go to effects and go to color overlay so from here 
you can change the color of your light you can see that different color you can apply or if you don't want to change this color you just go to drop down menu and from here you can also change the color of your light like i want to apply skin color so where we can find the skin color so there are different type of color matchings you can see that this one and uh, this one it all depends on you how you like to apply these colors so let's just go with this blue color or oh, sorry uh, yellow color it looks more e interesting or we should just go for this uh, already selected color it also gives a nice look so this is it uh, this is what we can create with this you can just turn off these it gives you a really like a sketchy look like uh, I really like this it, it, it's a decent color you can see that you can call it as a photocopy color or whatever you call you can call it so I hope you like this video and if you like this video uh, hit the like button under this video and click subscribe to our channel you can get more and more things uh, nearly I will uh, publish my website uh, tastetutorials.com and you will see you will find out so many stuff on that website and we will create some creative tutorials about something new so from some days I, I am busy in my exams so that's why I am a little bit late but I will try my best to uh, post a tutorial every day and uh, to stay connected to get new video to get new actions you should have to subscribe so click subscribe to get new updates about new videos so we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning